Welcome to the third and final part in our series on integrating Salesforce.com with ActiveCampaign. Now, if you haven't seen parts one and two in the series, then click on the link in the description below and watch those first and then come back and watch part three with us now. So let's recap. First, we installed the AppExchange adapter, which established communication between the two tools and we managed to sync a contact from one system to the other. Then, in part two, we took it a step further. We added a custom field to each system and we used an active campaign automation to automatically add a contact to a mailing list when a checkbox was ticked in Salesforce. So now in part three, we wanna deal with the scenario that you've sent an email out and a client has clicked on the unsubscribe link in the email. So that's updated active campaign, but now we wanna relay that information back to Salesforce. In order to do this, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna create a new field in each system and then we're gonna create another automation in Active Campaign so that we can populate those fields and have them sync back to Salesforce. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new text field in both systems. And this will just be used to track a status so that we can demonstrate that the automation has run and tell Salesforce that the unsubscribe has happened. Now we created new custom fields in the previous part two video, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. So let's just zoom over this quite quickly. Okay, so now we're actually at the fun bit. We're gonna create a new automation in Active Campaign. And this automation is gonna be a trigger from the unsubscribe, which could be a recipient clicking on a link in an email to unsubscribe, or just an admin updating the record in the back end of Active Campaign. So we're gonna create a new automation from scratch. We're gonna add a trigger, and we're gonna choose unsubscribe from a list. Now for this, we're just going to choose the daily deal list and it will run any time uh, that someone unsubscribes. So now we need to add our first action and our actions in this case are actually quite simple. We're just going to make two field updates. So the first field update is this new text field and we're just going to set some content that says unsubscribed via active campaign. Nice and simple. Now our second update is going to just take that daily deals checkbox that we had from part two, and we're now gonna set that to false. Now all we have to do is give the automation a name, save it, and make it active. In order to prove that this unsubscribe triggers, from an email, uh, we're now gonna send a very basic plain text email campaign, just so that we can receive that email, get that link, and prove that our trigger runs. So this video is not about creating a campaign and active campaign, so I'm gonna go through this rather quickly and dive out to the other end once we've received the email. Okay, so here is a copy of the email that landed in my inbox, and there is the unsubscribe link that we're looking for to trigger our automation. So let's click on the link and see how we go. So when we click on the link, we get a standard unsubscribe page. So we can choose an option there. So this should have flowed immediately into Active Campaign. So let's jump back in there and refresh our contact. And there we have it. All of our fields have been updated and the user has been unsubscribed from the list. Now the sync with Active Campaign only runs once an hour, so I've waited a while, come back. Now let's refresh this record and see if those changes have flowed through. And there we have it. We can see that our daily deals checkbox is now false and our unsubscribe status has now been updated. So that concludes our three part series. Across the three videos, we've proven that we can connect the two applications together and send data in each direction. 
Using the power of automations in ActiveCampaign, we've shown how you can automate processes to make life easier and keep your CRM and marketing system in sync. Now this example may have been a little contrived, but hopefully it gives you a flavor that you can riff on and create your own automations between the two systems. Now if you've got value out of these videos, please subscribe to the channel. I've got lots more videos coming. Give the video a like, and if you want to be notified, click that little bell icon and you'll find out when the next video is coming out. Until next time.